In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make an object follow a curve in Blender. So as an example, I modeled this simple road object, and this was just a cube which I squished down, and then I added this road texture from Ambient CG. I'll have a link in the description to this texture if you'd like to check it out. And also, if I hit the tab key to go into edit mode of the object, I added loop cuts to the object, and that way it'll have more geometry, and so when the object is affected by the curve, the edges will curve around more smooth but you may not need to add loop cuts to your mesh, it will depend on your object. So the first thing that I wanna do is add the array modifier to array this object. So over here on the modifier properties, I'm gonna click on add modifier and let's go to generate and I can add the array modifier right up here on the top. Now you can see it's arraying it over on the X. So right here on the factor X, I wanna turn this to zero. And then here on the Y, I wanna turn this to one. Then I can turn the count up. So I'm gonna turn the count all the way up to like a 15. So now we have this really long road. And you can see with how I've set up the texture, it's gonna be seamless because the ending of the texture is here and then the starting of the texture is here. And so the road texture will be seamless as it goes down the road. So I now need to add a curve object to curve the road. So I'll press shift A, I'm gonna go here to curve and I'm gonna start by by adding a path, you could also add the BZA curve. I'm gonna add a path. So then I can press seven on the numpad to go to top view. I'll hit R to rotate and I'll type in 90 and enter to rotate that. And I'll hit the tab key to go into edit mode and I can scale the entire thing up. And then I can select some of these points here and move them over. I can also select the end of the curve and press E to extrude and I can extrude out the curve. And then once I'm done with that, I'll hit tab to go back to object mode. So I'm now gonna click and drag to box select both of these objects and I'm gonna move these objects into the center of the 3D world. And then I want the origin point to be in the center. So with both of these objects selected, I'll press Control A and I'm going to apply the location. So now you can see the origin point is in the very center there of the road. So I now want to make this road move along with the curve. So with the road selected, I'll click here on Add Modifier and under Deform, I'm going to select the Curve Modifier. And it is important that the Curve Modifier is here below the Array Modifier because first we want it to array the object and then we want it to curve the object. Now here on the curve object, I can click here on the eyedropper and then I can just select the path object. And I can now hit G to grab and I can move the road back on the X axis and move it along the curve. Now, if for some reason the road isn't pointed in the right direction, that might be because you need to change the deform axis. So if you hold down the control key and then scroll with your mouse wheel, that's gonna switch between the different curve axis. Although for me, the default of X works the best. So I can now just select the curve object. I'll hit the tab key to go into edit mode and I can just select the vertices here in the curve and I can move that around and that is going to move around the road. Now, if something like this is happening and the road is being deformed, that's because you need to move the curve curve in the road to the same position. So I can select the road object, I'll hit G to grab, and I can move it here over the curve, and now you can see it's not being deformed anymore, so then you can move both of these objects together to move the road. So that is how you can array an object along a curve in Blender. So I hope you found this helpful, and thank you for watching.